Hi, my name is Bud Scheffel. We're going to be demonstrating a kinetic mobile in stainless steel today. We all start out with a series of stainless steel, what's called, you're going to hear a lot of technical terms here, mainly in the physics and the math end of things, but these are tensile strength stainless steel wire. In this case, or at this thickness, they're called rods. We're going to be using, uh, we're going to be starting out, the first series of these are going to be considered a cantilever. That's how the mobiles start, as a series of levers from the simple machine family in the physics end of things. So this first piece of wire, we're going to first put the counterweight on right now. We're going to rotate around a, a wooden cylinder, just a simple spiral. In that spiral is going to go a counterweight. That counterweight could be steel. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a piece of glass. So we're going to rotate that series of um, spirals around that glass ball, and then we're going to convert this curvature into a straight lever again. So that's basically what's going to be happening is we're going to be making a series of levers connecting each other to make multiple facet lever mobile. So in this case right now, this is going to be the counterweight on this end. We're going to put a little decorative uh, image on the other end. I've chosen a, um, a butterfly. This is actually a piece of painted stainless steel. This is basically just going to be threaded through and crimped around with this very high tensile strength stainless wire. Once that goes through, then I'm going to go down here and crimp it on the table here. I put a, apply a lot of pressure since this wire is very, very stiff. And then I'll just throw it right in a, a vise right here just to basically crimp it down tight enough so where you won't have any problem with uh, the wind blowing this thing off or apart. So there's the lever right there. Now we need to put the counterweight on. Like Newton's law goes, whatever you add to one side, you have to add to the other. So in this case, we're going to be adding a graphic element. In this case, it's a piece of stainless steel, abstract as it may. And we decide on the length to choose before we use the aesthetic idea uh, on what this mobile is going to look like when it's over with. So this is the estimated length right here. I just add a little bit of extra because I'm going to be putting some loops into these. Basically just cut this wire and now I'm going to basically do the same thing I did to the butterfly. I turn it around and I'm going to thread that abstract shape into it. So that's basically just going to be crimped around. Same procedure again. Again, this is really stiff wire, so this is designed to last a long time outside. Okay, that's step one. There's the lever, a little bit of color added to this. This will be a nice mobile when it's done. So the next step is going to be choosing the angles. Sometimes we'll start vertical, sometimes we'll start horizontal. In this case, we're going to start somewhere in the diagonal realm. So I have to just move my fingers across that rod and choose the angle. I like about a 45 degree angle, give or take. I'll rotate the sculpture upside down. That's an inversion move there. And then I'm going to put the loop in. Basically, this is going in upside down right now. Okay, so there is the step. We're at about near 45 degree angle right now. So I'm just going to throw it on this little S hook I have suspended from a stainless wire to give it an accurate idea on the angle that this is going to be used at. So that's about right. That's about what I like. Since it's a butterfly, I'd like the thing to be up here rather than over here or down here. So basically, this is the first stage completed. Second stage is a repetition of the first stage, excluding the colorful element on the end. So this is going to be a series of radiating arcs coming outward from the center. And this is the next step down. It's a proportionate. There's where the ratio and proportion end of math comes in. This is a proportionately smaller piece that I'm going to do again with a series of um, wire rods. I'm going to do those same steps. Next step, step three. This is again the ratio, proportion, and percentage thing. This is the next step down. This is the next uh, proportionate size. I'm going to repeat that same step again with the same loop. So here's the last step here, folks. This is going to be a horizontal format lever. So we're going to go just about horizontal here. We're going to add a couple more inches again. Repetition is key here. 
Most mobiles are gonna be repetition and patterns, but often when they get a little bit more complicated, they get a, there's a couple of different methods that go into making them other than the ones I'm showing you right now. So this one, I'm gonna just actually add a, a 90 degree angle here because this is where this one needs to end up. This is a crucial stage here. So there's step lever number four. So again, I'm gonna run my finger down. This is gonna to be too far. This is gonna be not enough. So I have to kind of pick the angle that I want. And in this case, I'm shooting for a horizontal line. So I have my fingers pinched where that location is gonna be. I'll invert that lever one more time. Put that loop in upside down because this last loop I'm putting in right now is actually gonna be the very top of the mobile. So there's that horizontal line. This is uh, lever number four now. Okay, so we're gonna be a little short. It's just off horizontal, so we're gonna go back to this fulcrum area, back off it a little bit, and get the angle in. Now it's a little bit over, so I gotta back off the other way now. So we're gonna be right about on the money there. I wanna drop this lever here because the angles aren't perfect, so the only way to do that is to go back to the fulcrum and adjust it there. And of course, with experience, this is not a, a complicated part of making the mobile. This is just tweaking it, as it were. Then I'll just grab one of these heavyweight pliers and crimp all of those areas. Notice I didn't do that until the very end, because often you could miss a lever by a couple uh, percentage points and be, miss it enough to where you have to start over. So I don't do that until the very end. And then to make the mobile spin properly, we're gonna just add a stainless steel swivel, that's just like a fishing swivel, that gets added to the top. And then just to finish it off is a, is a stainless steel hoop or a ring that I have pre-cut before I came to the show here to have these a little easier to finish off. And then I just close these gaps up and the mobile is complete. Stainless steel cantilever mobile.